for some of the people who might not know, you want to just do a little introduction on yourself? I told him a little bit, but... Oh, okay. Um, everyone, uh, what's up, guys? In Cuban's chat. Uh, my name is Vince Pichel. Uh, my nickname's From Hell, From Hell Pichel. I'm a UFC fighter. I've been fighting in the UFC since, uh, shit, 2012. I was on The Ultimate Fighter. I was on uh, The Ultimate Fighter season 15. And then... After that, I, I got all the way to semifinals. I got third place, I guess. And then uh, I got made to the UFC. Been in there ever since. I think I was like five or – no, I had seven fights. When I got into the UFC, I was 7-0. and oh, And now I'm 14-3. and three. My only three losses are from guys in the UFC. That's... Um, it's basically just me. The Jenner Extraordinaire. <laughs> Hell yeah. Does some streaming on Twitch. I see you playing a nice variety of games, which is interesting. You got some Mountain Blade going, but... I yeah, I got real bad. Ways. I got real bad ADHD, so I'm, like, all over the place with the games. Yeah. I have, like, good interest, and then I'll, like... I'll, like, super, like, be into some game, and then I'll be like, oh, shit, another game? And then, you know what I mean? Like, for instance, so tomorrow... Yeah, as soon as Starfield comes out tomorrow, I'm going to be, like, jumping on that. Uh, I I I dropped a hundred dollars on you did too on the deluxe so you could play it, bro. Games are a hundred dollars now. You want to play so it a stupid. few days early? Give me fifty percent more money. You honestly, I, honestly, I didn't even I didn't even buy it. Uh, one of my homies in my chat bought it for me. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, fuck yeah. That's what's. I up. really it was on my wish list though, so I was like sick. There you I'm go. Sorry. I saw you put it in your library. Yeah, I try to play big games when they're new because, like, it's going to be fun. Everybody's going to ask me how I played it, and the best time to play is early release or early access. Yeah, you know what? Um, I feel like sometimes I let, like, the big streamers play games so I could see if it's good or not, if I want to play it, and then I'll there get it go. later. Well, how are you going to be the big streamer if you're not playing the game? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll worry about that when I'm playing, beating the hell out of people. <laughs> <laughs> there you go i'm fucking around no nah, streaming is is wild because that that is a good way to see you can see all the advertisements and the best moments they want to show you but you watch a streamer just ha having glitch after glitch or the game keeps crashing you're like i don't want to play this shit bro this game sucks you can oh, see know, yeah. a real person playing it and you're not getting the ad so that's nice yeah, about I streaming that's why I enjoy like actually watching streams too, just because of like just the variety of it, right? Like, I don't know. I still watch shows and stuff, but like, I mean, that's pretty real. We all just watch like Netflix and you know pre pre record stuff that's you know me at our fingertips. So if I want to watch like live stuff, I'll typically just watch a stream because it's just more entertaining for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't have to watch uh, just people suffer like I do with games. <laughs> <laughs> Suffering with games. What what's the one that uh, you rage quit any games recently? Oh, bro. Yeah, I just rage quit on my separate car. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, like, wait, what, did, what do you do in that game? You build a car and then you try to drive it? Bro, you're basically like a shitter, bro. You're like some latchkey kid that your parents just left at some, like, farmhouse with, like, 3,000 marks and, like, some old busted-ass car that you were born in. The game starts off like, <laughs> dude, it's so funny. It starts off like a year, or whatever, and then it's like inside of a car. It goes in, it pans inside this car, which is the car that you put together and drive around. And then it's like the the the, the screen pans into like this this oval shape, and it turns out that it's you coming out of your mom's fucking vagina in the car, being born. And then like that's how the game starts. And then you have to basically put this car together. And there's a lots of fun stuff you could do. Like it's a it's a finished game so you're basically just like getting drunk and driving around everywhere it's like i, don't know, I guess that's what they do for fun all day so it's kind of just a shitter game like that bro like i call it like jeffrey dahmer in training sometimes because like i was running people over and throwing them in the back of my advantage collecting bodies and then like there's cops in there so they'll arrest you, you go to prison you get jail tats and shit like oh, that's just, it's just like the most awful ridiculous game but it's like so mm. fun it creates like the funnest moments that yeah, sounds fun though i might have to try it <laughs> yeah it's pretty fucking wild you what are drink you playing in right the now? game and drive? Yeah, you drink. You get drunk in the game, but I don't recommend getting drunk in the game because it's like actually being hammered drunk, and it does not feel like I get sick if I'm drunk in the game for too long. I'll yeah. like so there. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny quest. There's a quest where this guy has like a wristwatch. It's like a it's like a Volex because they can't help you put Rolex in it. The Volex. Yeah, it's the Volex. 
So you beat this guy's ass at the bar and you take his watch, right? And uh, that's like one of the missions. Like you have to fucking do that. But it's just like stupid shit like that, right? Yeah. And then like, so one time I beat this dude's ass and he, he drops the watch and a bottle of vodka. I drank the bottle of vodka. I was like, fuck it, we're going to drive home. And like, this, like, dude, I can't even like, it's hard. I can't even describe you how shitty it is to drive drunk in that game when you're like that drunk because it, it intensifies the more you drink. Yeah, so like oh, I just, it just made me kind of sick where I couldn't even do it that much anymore. Add some <laughs> swerving for you. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a really fun game. Some games have wild drunk effects. Like I don't know. I used to play World of Warcraft. I think you can turn it off because you literally like you get blurry vision. Your screen gets blurry. It's like ah, it's fucking with my eyes. I don't look at this. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Escape from Tarkov was like that. Like when you get like shot in that game and like like you're hurt, like your vision's all fucked up. I hate it. Hmm. That was fun. Game's just torture. Fucked up vision. Can't see shit. <laughs> hey, how'd you put like my name like that in the uh, thing? I tried to do that, but it didn't work. Uh, try to make the name all cool. I did an at. Is it working? Oh, it is the at. Well, I see mine on yours, but I. It I tried work it on mine, anymore. but it, I tried on mine, but it didn't work. So then I put the exclamation point, but that still didn't work. So I think it's the at, it. but I've noticed it doesn't work with some streamers sometimes so. oh i wonder if it's because i have exclamation points attached Maybe that's why. Uh, they might just hate my guts oh no there it is did it work now yeah i can see it now that's i think it's just okay. getting better at it then it says we're doing the guest star too it's kind of cool yeah, like a nice nice. little twitch feature oh yeah like when you see who you're following on the side i think they mouse over and we'll see that it's both of us oh that's dope yeah, I don't even so, know how a lot of this stuff works. Did you uh you sneak any weed into the ultimate fighter house or what's up? No, I wish, dude. That house is like pretty crazy though. There was alcohol galore. Yeah, I bet. Who's being weird? Split? Yeah. Where's the spray bottle? No, he's not like being bad, it's just being weird. Wait, I don't understand. Acting weird. He's a cat. But it's fine with you, buddy. Is he fighting with Eddie? No, just being weird. Okay. But I mean, he's just like, behavior's off. Okay. Split. Split. Come here. Come here. Is it a cat? Yeah. Cat's being weird? This little fucking weird over here. <laughs> <laughs> My cat's weird. I thought all cats were weird, but I guess they, they, they can't do weird stuff. He's like, I mean, he's not really that weird of a cat. He's like a pretty normal cat, I would say. You pet him, you pet him too much, he bites you. There you go. <laughs> yeah, cats are like, <laughs> do it, but then I'll tell you when to stop violently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a fucker enough, I said! <laughs> <laughs> Just escalates right away. Zero to a hundred real quick. But I think he's actually like, I mean, he's pretty old, man. He was born in 2010. I've had him since he's one. I adopted him. And he's like been missing a lot of teeth lately. They're like falling out. And I think his big teeth, like he's missing one of his fans now. Dang. But I'm like, damn, I hope that's not like a sign of old age. You're going to die soon because he's sad. Uh. I can never get. <laughs> that's Dang. right. I got another one. <laughs> Dang. Okay, bye. Oh, man. So there was alcohol galore in the Ultimate oh, yeah. Firehouse. They just supplied it? Bro, yeah. It was like. It was actually pretty insane. Um, I'll tell you this. Okay, so there was like all kinds of alcohol in there, and uh, like beers, liquor, whatever. Like the the house that we were in was a mansion. First of all, it was like a. Jeez, uh, we were only using four rooms, but there was like another four rooms in the house. Half yeah. the house was blocked off for production. They all lived in that half, and we were in like our own half. And then we had the backyard, and, you know, basically the big part of the house. Yeah. And uh, there was like this whole room that was like a 10 by 30 strip and it was just full of alcohol it was fucking nuts i've never seen like so much alcohol in one spot besides like a bar or somewhere crazy like that you know what i mean it was just like every kind of booze alcohol liquor you could want possibly want on one side the other side was just beers it was like a i don't know who was a sponsor at the time i want to say it was like bud light honestly but uh there was like just all the beers on the other side and then this was the coolest part i thought we literally had like a Christmas list 
like there was a list that had our name on it we'd get like five lines that we could write on and it'd be like okay whatever you want uh you know groceries clothes you know supplements things like that whatever you know something like fight related stuff whatever and food and in the morning it's like christmas it's all just right there waiting for you it's kind of nuts all your food's in the fridge like thousand little elves just like fucking deliver that shit it's kind of nuts you never wrote weed <laughs> down on there <laughs> nah, we, bong, some weed. we were, fu- <laughs> we were fucking with the other dudes putting like condoms and shit <laughs> We put condoms on like Crochet shit, and they're like questioning him. They're like, "Why do you want condoms?" He's like, "I don't want condoms." They're like, "You put condoms or anything?" He's like, "No, I didn't." They're like, "Why are you lying about it?" It was like it was kind of like a big deal. We had to like confess that we were fucking with him, so we didn't get in trouble for it. <laughs> There's actually a lot that they didn't put on the show. That I'm surprised they didn't put on because it was pretty good TV. Dude, we beat the fuck. Okay, you know who Sam Cecilia was on my. Uh, he was on my uh, season. And we beat the fuck out of Chris Tickle's legs, dude. We beat that boy's legs in a linguine, dude. (laughs) Bro, he was like one of those guys, though, that like, like he was like, he was really cool, first of all, and a hell of a fucking chef. Like this dude could cook his fucking dick off, bro. Like he was like the cook of the house. He made all the food for all of us, bro. He was like such a good chef. Nice. But uh, he was the guy that'd be like, let's get drunk, guys. And then drink two beers and be fucking gone. And we'd be all like, I like where the fuck's tickle at? Like he's sleeping. We're all getting drunk, right? Getting wasted. And this dude drinks two beers and bounces. Doesn't say shit either. Just like disappears, just into the shrubs, Ooh. right? So this one time, I think it was right after I fought. I was I was finally able to drink, so I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm gonna drink." And me and Sam are both drinking like uh, Captain Morgan's. I think we had like uh, the gallon of Captain Morgan's that we we're drinking. And tickle, of course, was like, "Yeah, let's get fucking drunk tonight." So of course we're drinking. He disappears. Me and Sam are like. Had a moment of clarity where we were like, where the fuck is Tickle at? Like, that motherfucker escaped. So we go in the, we go back in the house. We were like in the backyard. Dude, the backyard was so huge. It was kind of crazy, dude. The backyard was like, dude, it was like probably 60 or 70 feet wide by like 100 feet long. Just like nuts. Yeah. There's a football field, bro. It was crazy. But uh, we go inside. Tickle's in the shower, bro. And he's like, clothes and shit are on the toilet. We're like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm going to go to bed. I was like, bro, we're supposed to party. So we grab his clothes. We start like throwing his clothes in the shower, right over the curtain and shit. <laughs> and then like we start laughing, throwing cold water. And then all of a sudden, this dude comes like leaping out from behind the uh, shower curtain. Like he like, dude, he was like a straight X Men. He jumped and opened the curtain at the same time, and his like knees were up in the air, bro. He was like, <laughs> like came at us, bro, like a vampire. And just in his box, he has boxers on. We throw his clothes, he puts boxers on, like came at us, right. I grab, he like jumps on me. I grab my throw him on the bed. I grab his legs and then Sam grabs like his upper body and we just continue to beat the fuck out of him, dude. Like, like we didn't like seriously hurt him, like punch him in the face or anything, but we beat like his arms and legs and like his body. We beat the fuck out of him so bad, dude. And we beat him for like probably like a good 20 minutes. Like we didn't stop. We were just like drunk assholes just beating the fuck out of our friend. It was so fucking funny, dude. And that's like one of the things I'm surprised they didn't put in the show because that was like one of the whole, most hilarious. And there's ever. just a camera crew there recording it the whole time. Yeah, and, bro. Yeah, oh, they're like Jesus, bro. That was also that they was didn't like the get the shot of him jumping out of the shower in the fucking vampire pose. Oh no, they did. They got that because okay. there's there's like cameras on the ceilings, but there's also oh, like the camera crew that follows us around. Yeah, yeah. But like, bro, dude, I gotta go so back funny. and watch that season. I know I've seen it, it but. So <laughs> That was a while ago, I guess. That's yeah. What that... else happened, dude? Oh my god, I had like, oh, dude. So okay, so that same night later on, I guess Tickle came out. We were so drunk and fucking douched us with like flour and shit. So we like went to bed with flour all over us. <laughs> and then uh, I went to bed, all right, and and uh, I shared a room with James Vic, Chris Tickle, and uh, Justin Lawrence. Yeah, it was just it was us four in the room. And me and James Vic had a bunk bed. I was on the top. He was on the bottom. And then uh, Justin and Tickle were like, our room was like an L shape. And then Tickle and, and Justin were like in the other side, like, you know, on the opposite walls of each other. And I remember we were like going to bed. And <laughs> this is the same night. I was so fucking drunk, dude. I had this dream that I was with the boys, all the boys in the Ultimate Fighter House. And we were somehow in some kind of World War II situation. It was like saving Private Ryan, right? And then like, all I know is like someone threw a grenade and I was like, oh shit, watch out boys. And like, I just jumped 
And as I jumped, I woke up midair in real life and then fucking fell off the bunk bed and splatted on the fucking floor, like straight on my face, on my face. Like I just hooked myself off the fucking bed, just drunk as fuck, having this nightmare. I was in second five at Ryan trying to save the boys and shit. Oh, and then uh, I hit the floor, right? And all the, all the camera crew comes in and they're like, what the fuck? Are you okay? What the fuck happened? And then we're all just laughing because I'm on the floor, like drunk as fuck still from, you know what I mean? Like two hours ago. Man, that's and then, fucking uh, wild. I know that was fucking hilarious. And then the next day we had to run sprints. That shit sucked. That was like the worst experience of my life. I tried to drink a gallon of pee like the next day. Ooh, the, the, so good. the Ultimate Fighter is crazy <laughs> because you fight so often in the house. You're not in there forever. It's like, well, normally they do, yeah. But my season wasn't like that. So normally no? it's a six week thing, and they'll fight every other day. So it'll be like, it'll be like fight. It'll be a fight day, um, fight announcement, weigh-ins, and then fight day is how it goes. So it's a four-day turnaround from fight to fight. Yeah. So it's a fight day, announcement, weigh-ins, and then fight day. So they basically have one day per to get ready for the next phase of the fight, right? Yeah. And so ours was six fucking or three months. We were there for twice as long. Oh. And our fights were only on Fridays, and our fights were live. So what they would do was like last week's footage they would cut up, put it on the episode, and then live fight at the end of the week. Oh, so that's, that's why ours is like that. Okay, yeah, I I remember uh, live seasons. Um, ours is the only one like that, but they yeah. never did it again for some reason. I I think I know why. I think it's because we blew through like all the like what is it like our tolerance or whatever, like our <laughs> our yeah. allowance. It's they harder to the, do, yeah. Yeah, and the first they told us in the first month we blew through the allowance of the whole show. Because they're only used to like having a six week thing and we're there for three months, but we're all just like, Oh, you're getting what? I'm gonna get that. Oh, you got what? I'm gonna get that too. And then <laughs> lo and behold, That's all of us have twelve list. bottles of the same fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're all taking the same shit and we all have our own. <laughs> they drop shitloads of money on alcohol too, like <laughs> Oh yeah, Sounds there, there, like was, it. there was easily like probably five G's in alcohol in there. E- easily. Jesus. It was so nuts. They just wanted us to get drunk and beat the fuck out of each other, which we did a little bit. Yeah, because it's a reality show, right? They got to create those moments. They got to come up with the little challenges and the different things yeah. here and there, you know? Yeah, and the thing about the reality show is, uh, like, on when we first got on there, I remember, too, like, I was like, oh, cool reality show, right? And then uh, Dana was, like, giving us the first spiel, right? Like, Okay, you guys know who you're gonna fight to get in the house. Don't be the fucking guy on the bus. You know what I mean? This is what you work for. Yada yada. You know what I mean? And then uh, when he's done giving the speech, he's like, "Okay, guys, see you later." And then one of the uh, main producers came out, uh, Craig Bleegian, who's the like head producer of the show. He comes out and he's like, "Oh, Dana, uh, the fuck the cameraman did put the camera in the film. Can you like redo your speech?" The camera's like, "Fuck no, fuck you. You missed it." And he and then he turns and looks at us, and then he's like. If any of you, he's like, if this guy or any of these other fucking jackoffs tell you guys to fucking say something or do this kind of shit and you fucking do it, you're gone. He's like, this ain't the fucking Kardashians. If you want to be on the fucking reality show like the Kardashians, be my guest. This ain't fucking it. He's like, if I catch you guys doing that shit, you're fucking gone. Fuck you. Oh, and then man. and then literally turn around and walk the fuck out. Took off in his fucking giant ass Ford Bronco. He said, don't do what the fucking produ- the producers say and don't listen to the direction shit. Cause yeah, he's like, if they, yeah, he's like, if they tell you to fucking say shit or do this or that, fuck them. Tell them suck a dick. If you do, hey, you're gone. I love it. Because, like, a, you could tell a lot of reality TV just seems phony and fake. And some of the moments are like, I know that was your third or fourth take or, or whatever trying it. But the Ultimate Fighter always seemed like... I mean, no, yeah, nobody on bad. there is an actor, really. Not n- not many guys are actors, so even if they wanted, like, you would know. So it yeah, just yeah. always seemed pretty authentic from what you see. Well, what I found out, too, is um, uh, a little inside information here, but Joe Silva, who's the old matchmaker, and Craig Collegian used to have bets with each other for the Ultimate Fighter. So what they would do was Craig Collegian was the producer, so he's like, I want character, I need TV, you know what I mean? So I want characters, yada, yada. Joe Silva was like, fuck you, we need fighters. So what they started doing was like Joe Silva picks 12 guys, Greg Pleasian picks 12 guys, and then they would bet. They would have like little bets with each other. Oh, my guy won. Thanks. Thanks, bitch. And they would like big money bets with each other. <laughs> yeah. 
Dang. One on one bets too. Yeah, those yeah, are the dick tired. measuring. <laughs> that was crazy. So oh, yeah, War Machine was on tough. I actually grew up with War Machine. Me and my friends fought with War Machine and his friends. I threw a brick at that dude and ran because he was fucking like two thirty juice of the gills in high school. So that's that guy was crazy. I saw that dude throw some of my friends like they were bricks, dude. It was crazy. <laughs> I've never seen a, I never seen a kid get thrown by another kid that far. <laughs> oh, man. I straight threw a brick and I didn't ran. I was like five foot four. <laughs> yeah. like 130 pounds soaked. <laughs> I'm fucking out of here, dude. <laughs> so <laughs> I know uh um you were talking about I don't, I don't even know if i should say it but who who is some cool people in the ufc that you've smoked with i know you mentioned, <laughs> you mentioned some people to me i didn't want to just drop it uh, I'll let you. yeah so. honestly there's a there's a lot of people that smoke weed in the ufc and i would just say the people who you don't think smoke weed actually do smoke weed no oh, yeah like, talked about. like i'm gonna say uh, of all the fighters confidently i would say around 10 to 20 percent do not smoke weed yeah that sounds right <laughs> that's probably like what the ratio is it's between yeah. 10 and 20 percent and it's a lot of those guys weed. that are in serbia and other countries where they just couldn't even get it if they wanted it's <laughs> oh yeah those are those are guys that do those are the juice monkeys that's why yeah. <laughs> when Usada came around all the brazilians and all the russians kind of died a little bit they start getting injured and then to pull out of fights uh. <laughs> look they're injured <laughs> yeah it's pretty nuts man i found out like i mean i like you saw it i think you saw it as a cool thing but i also found out that like it's like any other system right it's like also bullshit and mm -hmm. i found out in other countries a lot of test fighters are going to get tested because the agents are just afraid like, yeah they test in yol romero and no. yeah you don't <laughs> they, but yeah brazil you don't test guys in brazil they will they will do mean things to you bro they they kill their soccer refs when they make bad calls and they want to know they'll do with somebody drug test you and get you busted uh, dude <laughs> yeah, Brazil's got a lot of fighters too, which is. Oh shit! One second. Hello. Oh yeah, come on in. Oh, my little one's going to bed. Hello, little honey. Yeah, hey, come on, give me hugs. Hey. I love you. I love you too. Oh, your hair's not wet. Did you dry it today? Yeah. yeah. I love you, honey. You're gonna have to look. Come here. I can't. I'm talking with my friend. I'm talking with my friend, huh? It's all flower vases in the back. Love hey. you. Flower vases? <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she she knows it as my medicine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I use a smoke buddy, so she doesn't. She can't smell it. Yeah, she, she she I've seen these. Uh, you're not just hot boxing. Yeah, things nice, dude. Hang on. Well, well, okay, what was that saying? I don't even remember now. We were talking about the Brazilians and. Oh yeah, yeah, Muslims. Usada, yeah, bro, dude, yeah, because Usada, like, bro, when they killed their referees out there for like making bad calls in soccer games, I know for sure the Usada agents are going out there testing those boys. Yeah, no, I weird. mean, I've even heard people talk about like the UFC judges, and it's like he, he just, just you know just fudge the card a little bit no that's how i saw it right you don't want to have the whole stadium of brazilians mad at your judging right you don't want to have a All stadium right. of anybody mad at your judging but you should ask cupid's that hill ask me what how many points you smoke can you smoke in a day <laughs> zero <laughs> officially zero this is my record i think i went for like a camping trip and i smoke and i brought like 30 blunts and we smoked it and that was like a weekend oh, sounds terrible dude that was a good time that's a lot of tobacco man <laughs> nah that sounds like something yeah. that i if i if i <laughs> if i could see a place for a blunt it's camping like bro, i'm outside i'm roughing it like my lungs are roughing it too like <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, still have, I still have my bong with me <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna bring my puff call. I'm gonna have electronic dabbing devices, but I could I could see how that would be a place for a blunt. I mean, they call oh, it backwards for a reason. Uh, oh, dude, I could roll a dirty backwards too. 
uh, I was telling someone a funny story. Did I tell you that story about my Dr. Gabber rig and why I don't even deal with him anymore? Oh, not tell us about it. <laughs> we love Dr. Dabber around here. Just kidding. Dude. I'm just kidding. First of all, fuck Dr. Dabber. I just have to start it off by saying that. <laughs> Yo, their device right. is actually their device is actually pretty dope. That the switch device that I have over there is actually a really dope device. I, I can't I can't. It's the best it. one they have. Yeah, it's and they've stuff. dropped multiple things after that are not oh, uh, close have, to as good. But anyway, I, I had one of those right, and I had a little deal with them. You know, they're paying me or supposed to pay me, and you know, I do posts and whatnot. Anywho, I had one of those dabbers. I posted for that shit all the time, and uh, this is when I first moved out here to Colorado. So. I was driving back to California to pick up my chick and bring her and the little one out here. And uh, I brought the dabber so I could just blaze it away, you know what I mean? Because I could smoke uh, weed and, and dabs out of it. So I just went out there, had all my shit. I was like, fuck it, let's go. I'm driving to my mom's house while I'm out there to drop off the trailer. And when I make like the last turn, there's like this field out there. It's just a dirt field. And uh, I hear like this glass shatter, right? And I see like some dudes out there. So I stop and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, did you guys just throw a fucking bottle at me at my trailer or some shit? Like these fucking assholes. So I drove around the block. I come back. And as I come back, they're like, it's like seven Mexican dudes. And they're all jumping in this little Honda Civic. So I stop right there. I'm like, I'm like, hey, boys, what's up? They're like, hey, hey. I'm like, did you guys throw a fucking glass bottle at me just now? And then they're like, don't say shit. I'm like, did you guys throw a glass fucking bottle at me just now? And then they still don't say shit. I'm like, you fucking understand what I'm saying? And then one of them was like, no, speak English. And I'm like, okay, of course, motherfuckers. I was like, who threw the glass bottle at me, dude? Like, I'm not fucking around. Let's kick someone's ass right now. And then one guy's like, we didn't throw a glass bottle at you. I was like, damn, you see that pretty fucking good, huh? No English speaking <laughs> motherfucker. So I'm like, dude, I was like, if you guys threw a fucking bottle at me, dude, and I catch you guys here again, I'm kicking all your fucking asses, right? And I just took off. My mom's house is literally the second house from the corner right there. So I pull into the driveway. My mom's boyfriend, Joe, comes out. I'm telling him about it, right? And he's like, what fucking punks are in that field? Like, he loves the field. He's got his like farm equipment back there. He's from uh, South Dakota, so he's like a little farmer boy. So he puts all his farm equipment out there and just plays in the dirt with it, right? <laughs> so he's like, who the fuck's out there in my field? <laughs> like, first of all, it's not your field. It's like old lady, this old lady Shelly who owns the land, whatever. And so I'm like, it's just some dudes are gone, whatever, right? So then he's like, got his flashlight, and we're all talking and explaining the story. And he's like, what's that? He like flashes light on my trailer, and it's the fucking carb cap to the dabber. And I'm like, oh, that's the carb cap to my dabber that's in the fucking street now that's what broke so i walk back <laughs> over there to the corner sure enough it's the fucking percolator the dr dabber just all over the fucking floor oh, right glass fell out yeah. yeah and i'm like i'm like where the fuck's the dabber at i walk over to the to the to the curb whatever there's no curb it's just like dirt i walk over to the curb and i don't see it and i'm like the fuck I, joe comes over i'm gonna see your flashlight i look in the field it's in the field where those dudes were hanging out they like they saw it, picked it up. We're looking at it. I didn't know what the fuck it was. Just threw it back in the dirt. Right? Yeah. So I grab it, pick it up. I have the dabber back, but it's all broken, right? I have nothing to smoke at. I'm not fucking pissed off. I'm agitated. I got anxiety. And then... Uh, I need my medicine. <laughs> yeah, I need my medicine. I'm going to go buy blood right now. So then I fucking... Uh, bro, I was like so hurt, right? So I sent the guy, Dr. Dabber, a message. I'm like, hey, man, like... I just broke my fucking percolator. Can I have you guys send me one? Can I have you, I guess, send it over here? Because I'm going to be over here in California. And the guy's like, the first thing he said to me was like, when's the last you made a post for me? And I just got so fucking mad because at this point, I think I was already two months deep in our relationship. And I posted for the, okay, the, the, the relationship was I give them one post, uh, one post a month. Right on my on my Instagram timeline, Twitter, whatever fucking bullshit, and I give them at least one story a week, which I was doing a story like every day because I had that thing with me every day, and you know I, mean? I was just like, <laughs> look at me, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, uh, so they just I was like, looking. Yeah. So then I'm like, and I tag them too. So I'm like, they don't know, right? So then I'm like, first of all, and then and they never paid me yet. Like I didn't get my I didn't get my money right. They're supposed to pay me, and so I never yeah. got paid. So I'm like, when the fuck was the last time you guys paid me? You guys never even paid me. I was like, have you just sent me a fucking percolator, bro? Like, I'm just asking for a percolator. Like, my, my dabber's fucked up, but I need to, I don't want a whole new dabber. I just want the percolator. Yeah. And he's like, well, if we give this to you, you gotta make a you gotta like make a post for us then. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. If you look at my Instagram post right now, there's like at least five of your fucking stupid ass posts from you guys on my like, shit. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna make you a list of shit I want. Send it to me, I make you a post, and then cool. He's like, all right. 
So I make them a list. I got like a couple of clears on my shit, whatever they sent it to me. I made the post and then a week later I just deleted it and said, fuck you guys. I'm out and stop like posting for me shit. Oh man. It was just like such shady, like business. Yeah. Things, got a little like, aggressive with you. What, what, you know, was yeah, that, you dude, that made me mad. Cause like, I don't know. I'm not like a, I'm not like the kind of person who would like, if I get an argument with someone, I'm like, I'm like, let's, we're fighting, you know what I mean? But like, yeah. I am verb, I am like verbally aggressive. Like I am like, my tone is aggressive. But it's like, dude, he, like he made me so mad, like saying that shit. I was like, you fucking piece of shit. How about I just chop you in the fucking neck, bro? Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? <laughs> that is, that's a shitty thing to say. Cause it's like, he should know, or he should have somebody he could ask that would ha be keeping track of your shit. Or if you're tagging him, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, sure. You would up. know. And they, and they do, you know what I mean? It's not like they don't, fuck. Yeah. I'll do this real quick so my chat can see it too. Oh, look at double whammy. You're incepted. Oh shit. I wish there was a way I could like. Wait, is there three there now? That did incept it. That's scary, dude. Dude, I I'm high, I'm high as a fucking kai right now. I'm high balls. What's up? You gonna smoke a board now? Trying to get high. Mm. Yeah, I <laughs> guess the issue I was I'm trying to think about guest star right now. The issue is when both people are alive, how did, how's it supposed to look? Like either I <laughs> Either when I show you on my stream and I use virtual camera, like you see what the fuck, uh, you know? Yeah, I see, I see your stream and then you see my stream. Yeah, on the guest star, you see us both and then the stream only sees, I don't know. It, it, it seems like they could do better with it already. Like, <laughs> oh, Twitch, fix it. Add yeah, the it ability. Should, yeah, it should show. give us like options of like what uh -huh. to show on there. Yeah, the issue is is I only have a source for you, so I can just show you on my stream. I should be able to show the the guest star, like the two of us chatting, and then have controls there. There's other things that do, like Discord and stream. Yeah, but, separately, right? Yeah, like separately but this has been streams. around for a, a while. I never so. knew about this. Yeah, but it 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 uh it kind of does some benefit to the stream or whatever it kind of plugs us both so we don't just sit here and spam links in the chat saying check out yeah, this guy they can just click stuff pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. so uh we we're talking about uh <laughs> ufc <laughs> fighters you smoked with i i guess maybe i have a i've smoked with a lot oh i can tell you a funny story about uh what is it tom uh lawler is it tom lawler yeah tom lawler you filthy tom, tom lawler yeah filthy tom lawler He's got a big yeah. old mustache too, doesn't he? Hey, he does. He's got a big old dirty mustache. <laughs> hey. So this was like right when I got off the Ultimate Fighter, actually. And I was in Vegas. I think I was in Vegas for like the fight or something, actually. And this was like, man, I want to say this is like the first time I've ever been starstruck. Because I've never, like, I'm not really like a fanboy or like really anybody, you know what I mean? Like, so, like yeah. I'd say. But I went to the summit and there was literally every UFC fighter there. Like, like I have pictures of like all the Brazilians, like Vandelay, Nogueras, uh, Vitor, and Anderson all taking a like selfie together and shit, right? Like, I have like photos of those guys. I have like photos of like shit, dude. Like, man, because when I was in there, like 2010, 2012, like these guys from like 10 years ago and shit. But we had like, uh, what else you can say now? But I just had like crazy fucking photos and shit of that. But I got super starstruck for that first time because. That was like the first time I was ever in like Vegas with the UFC, like doing something like a UFC event. And it was like all the fighters. And I thought that was just like the dopest fucking shit. But mm -hmm. uh, so we were out there and oh, that's what I was going to say. So uh, I met Tom Lawler and it was like, uh, who was it? <laughs> it was like me, Kiesa, uh, Tom Lawler. I want to say like Al was there too. Um, there was a bunch of us. Sam was there. Who else? There was a bunch of us, like with fighters and whatnot, in a couple of suits, right? And we were all, we were all, we were getting, we were smoking weed in the fucking parking lot, getting high. And Tom just uh, like jumps in his jeep and just starts chilling. So I was like, oh fuck, yeah, I'm gonna sit down too. I jump in the jeep with him. We're blazing. And then me and Tom, like, there was like probably like four or five joints going around. And me and Tom basically had our own joint in the jeep. We were smoking. There was like, hey, rest. You know, I mean, there's just joints getting passed around. And then I was like, looking around, I was like, damn, I was like, dude, this is a pretty nice fucking Jeep, Tom, bro. I was like, can't wait till I make good money. <laughs> I can fucking buy a dope ass car like this. And he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, your fucking Jeep, bro. This thing's pretty badass. He's like, dude, this ain't my Jeep. 
<laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, bro, let's see my Jeep. It was just unlocked. <laughs> I was like, you fucking kidding me, dude? He's like, yo. <laughs> bro, we were sitting in this Jeep for like 40 fucking minutes to get behind a parking lot, dude. Like at some casino. <laughs> And it was like just some open up Jeep. It like didn't have full doors. It was like the you know I mean just yeah, like, every Jeep's wide open, bro. Like, yeah, it's open. <laughs> you can just get in, like bro. We're, we're sitting Jeep. this like hot box for like forty fucking minutes, bro. And I'm like, that's a nice Jeep, bro. He's like, this ain't mine. It's like his laugh, bro. His he's like, this ain't mine. Was, I was like, that's so I was like, funny. what? It's like, who's gonna say anything? Like, <laughs> I know. Can you imagine someone like trying to attack us? There yeah. we go. Like. I'm like, hey, sorry, we just... Imagine girl going up Jeep. on a group of UFC fighters smoking weed <laughs> in and around your car. Like, hey, uh, <laughs> can I get some autographs? <laughs> 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 uh, oh, shit. That's without, really uh, I, I will say this. Without me telling too many names, everybody that I'm friends with that's a fighter in the UFC smokes weed. Everybody who I talk to, interact with, that's a fighter in the UFC smokes weed. No, when you There's... said eighty percent, bro, that's that's got to be true. I've trained in a lot of gyms. I mean, I don't train much anymore. But every wrestling, every jujitsu gym I've been in, everybody smokes and they smoke a lot. <laughs> yeah, jujitsu gyms is really heavy, especially like Eddie Bravo's guys. <laughs> yeah, no, it makes sense. I had a loud ass. Alarm. Yeah, I guess the worst case, the worst case could have been someone pulls a gun on us, but I mean, I mean, people have guns. I have, they do have I guns, have but they have no bullets for all of us because there was like 12 of us there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. That shit was funny. Man, I remember uh, another thing too. When I first got off that sort of fighter, I was like, I wasn't able to fight on the finale because I was injured. Yeah. And so I got to hang out with all the suits. And I'm actually kind of glad because me hanging out the suits is. I don't want to say it is, but it's probably one of the things that saved me from like getting cut in the UFC because I was able to hang out with them, shoot the shit, and like fuck around, right? So I had like I have a friendship with everybody in the UFC, right? Like I like I like first name face with everybody in the UFC, like we're all fucking friends. Like I really, really love the UFC and, and the whole company itself is like a family, you know what I mean? And to me and to everybody to all the fighters, right? And so uh, it kind of bothers me people talk shit and saying the UFC has to care people and this and that because they fucking do, man. And the thing is, closed mouths, closed mouth don't get fed. So, like, if you're going to, you know what I mean, yeah. have an issue or something and not ask for help and, and be like, oh, these motherfuckers, you know what I mean, they should just pay me more and then talk shit like that. Like, I don't know, that's kind of absurd to me. It is really easy just to talk shit and not know what you're talking about. There's plenty of people that do it. Yeah, it really is. Oh, for sure, John Jones smokes. I'm pretty sure he left weed at the scene of his crime out of a hit and run when he hit that pregnant chick and oh, went yeah. back for it. <laughs> maybe it was just cocaine. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, I will say this, though. Uh, like, without, like, I mean, this is going to sound like I'm talking shit, but whatever. It, him and his brothers, man, those guys, they they should, if I was them, I'd, I'd buy lottery tickets every day because if you uh have ever seen a picture of john jones's parents man they look they look like the uh production the product of like years of just smoking crack bro like they look fu like fucked up people and i feel bad for talking shit like that but they look like really fucked up people like that people like they had drug problems like real bad drug problems but all their sons are like star fucking athletes yeah. right like they have drug they have drug problems too right and, like don't get me wrong but like they're all star athletes, man. That's like so crazy to me. Like yeah. those dudes all like they all have like such like uh God given opportunities that they just do drugs and get caught for stupid shit doing that. Yeah, a little history of addiction can hold yeah, you back, man. yeah. Because his brothers are like, you know, they have they have a history too, but they're all like MVPs and shit like football. It's like kind of crazy. And then John Jones is like, you know what I mean? Pound for pound the best fucking fighter ever ever lived. Yeah. That's kind of nuts. The mom could have cheated. Yeah, that's true. The UPS still guy. hides under the cage from USADA, though. <laughs> yeah, dude, hides under the <laughs> Oh, my God, bro. Oh. You know who else did that was, uh, I think it was Nogueira did that shit. That's a classic. Hide under the cage, bro. Nogueira did the old, oh, I left my phone at the gym thing. Jesus. And then the gym was closed for like a month. <laughs> <laughs>
I trained at a gym with a guy, the, the, he, he ran the gym. He was like the janitor. I think he slept there some nights. He didn't really have a place to say he would sleep. He was the stage. janitor. <laughs> I, I think he, he cleaned up and he did some other, yeah, I think he trained people too, but he, he would sleep under the cage. Like there was a, an actual cage there. And like one early day, some girl came in to like train some clients or whatever. And she was talking shit about this dude the whole time. Just like, just, I, he's so creepy, he's fucking weird. And like, just kept going on it. And he's uh, under the cage just to sleep, like listening to her the whole time. And he's like, I didn't know what to do. She just kept talking shit about me the whole time, bro. I'm under there. And I was thinking about, I don't know. I was thinking about, there's something under the cage that's just funny to me. Like, there's a lot that goes down when you're chilling under the cage. People are talking shit about you. You're hiding from you, Sada. Like, you're like, but you didn't hear anything about me, did you? You didn't hear the essay, did you? <laughs> he told me, and I'm like, I know to look under the fucking cage every time I'm in here. <laughs> Bro, I've had Usada try to give me like a uh, failed drug test because if we, uh, if you fail a drug test, it's a failed drug test. But if you also don't drug test, that's the same as a failed drug test. And like, I've had a couple times where I have uh, been like out of town and I'm like, mm -hmm. we have to do, we have to update where about like it's fucking parole, bro. Like, they have to know where we are at all times, where we're staying the night at, like they need addresses and whatnot. Like, it's, it's honestly like being a parole. It's fucking ridiculous. It is weird. But, um, <clears throat> I was like at my manager Jason's wedding, which was like uh, maybe like an hour and a half, two hours from my house when I lived in Cali at the time. And so as soon as I get there at the wedding, fucking you saw calls me. Hey, what's up, man? I'm at, I'm at your house. I'm like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> I was like, I'm not home. He's like, yeah, I figured that much. He's like, where are you? I was like, I'm like at a wedding, a little bit of ways. He's like, how far? I'm like two hours. He's like, oh, are you gonna you want to drive back? I was like, fuck no, I'm not gonna drive back. What the hell? He's like, well, I don't know you're going to be out there. I was like, I don't know you're going to be at my house. He's like, well, you're going to like tell us where you are at all times. So I was like, well, I'm a fucking adult. I'm going to tell no one shit, dude. So then they try to like bust me for it. But I was like, dude, I like, I actually opened their app and tried to do it one time. And I remember uh, the app was like crashing. So I couldn't even use the app. And so I showed them an old video of that. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, okay, and I didn't get a, I didn't get a missed test for it. He that. show that video every time. <laughs> I know, I should, huh? Your app's fucking up. It's like the old version of the app. It's like the app looks completely different now. Yeah. <laughs> they no, like sorry. revamp it every year. <laughs> I must not have updated it. <laughs> Bro, it sucks. I hate it, dude. I honestly wish I could just give them like the the ability to follow me on my iPhone and just know where I am because I'm like, I'm not cheating. So if you guys want to come judge us, you trust me. It's not about like me trying to get away from you. It's just, I don't like to fucking be micromanaged, bro. Like, I don't like some adult thinking he could fucking, you know, tell me where I can and can't be at all times. Like, I'll tell you where I am. You can find me, right? But I'm not, you know, I mean, I just hate having to do it. Because like quarterly, weird. too, we have to tell them all that shit. We have to, like, update it quarterly, which is ridiculous. Like being on parole, shit. It is straight up, dude. Without all the good benefits, I didn't even, like, get all the drug money or whatever before you get busted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so yeah, as to say, if you don't, if you can't take the test, some guys could just dodge the tester and just be juicing the whole time. So, I mean, well, I, you know what sense. I just, what I just figured out recently was uh, the reason why TJ Dillashaw got away from us so long is because he was using uh, EPO, which is a type of steroid that is like super rare, or whatever. I don't even know, like I don't know all the logistics of it, but it's like a super rare uh, type of steroid that takes a specialized test that's like super expensive and it's literally a test that you saw that doesn't even use unless it's like specially requested so that's how this little shit bag got away for got a, like busted for so long and then when cody was like when cody garbrand i think snitched him out and was like motherfucker you're feeding everybody steroids in the gym right i think uh that's what like got you saw to thinking because shortly after is when cody got busted unless someone took him off the EPO, which i wouldn't doubt either uh. That is good. I didn't know the regular test. I guess maybe I heard that, but that's something that you forget about, right? Because yeah, I honestly never even knew. Testing. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know because I've always just been like piss tested or blood tested, right? Like that's the only way. Yeah. Apparently, there might so be another. <laughs> there's something else out there we don't even know how to test for. Like somebody's got the secret juice. 
for real, dude. If they try to stick a swab in my dick, they ain't doing that for sure. I'll fight them, dude. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, bro. <laughs> you know the funny story, actually, about USADA one time? <laughs> so I used to have this guy. Uh, fuck, what was his name? Emilio was my old USADA guy. Emilio! He's my old USADA guy. And uh, he would always come test me, but he got transferred to, like, a different area or region whatever so i ended up getting a female officer and she wasn't able to drug test me because the females can't be in there with you right it's gotta be male male female female and so she brings this dude and you know i'm like hey what's up man he's like yeah let's go piss right so we're pissing and my house that i used to live in was like very tiny it was like you know, 500 square feet maybe and uh, my bathroom was <laughs> 20 square feet it was a fucking tiny game. tiny yeah, my bathroom is literally just a shitter and a sink and then like a, a little cabinet, right? My my bathtub was outside. My bathtub wasn't even in the actual bathroom. It was like outside next to my fucking bed. I could literally just roll over and go and jump in the shower. I could roll over and fall in my shower if I wanted to. Easy. It was nice. And so uh, he's in there. He's in my bathroom with me, which is like Cramped. too many people as it is. Yeah. <laughs> One person in there is too much, bro. Like I have to move to shut the little sliding door behind me right, to get in there. So he's in there with me. I'm taking a piss. And this dude is just like, bro, tractor beam gazing at my fucking junk the whole time, bro. Just, bro, I thought he was like singing a poem to it or some shit, bro. He was serenading it, bro. So I'm like pissing. I'm looking over and I'm like looking as I'm pissing. I look at him three times, right? And the third time he looks up at me and I'm like, what's up? And he's like, what's up? And I was like, you want to fucking touch it? And he's like, what? And I started laughing. I was like, bro, do you want to fucking touch it? Why are you staring at my dick like that? You're making me so fucking awkward, bro. I have to pull my shirt up like this above so they can, like, see my waistline. And I have to pull my shorts down so my whole waistline is visible to them. And this guy's next to me just staring at my dick, bro. Like, he's never seen one before. Making sure you didn't have a counterfeit dick on there. Like. Bro, I did, for real. And I'm like, I'm thrilled. So, like, when I said that, I was like, you want to touch it? And he's like, excuse me. I was like, bro, you're making me feel so awkward just staring at my dick like that. Can you like do oh, something? Like, you know what I mean? Get a sharpie and draw on something, or you know what I mean? What the fuck? At least write so something then, down, take notes. I tell, right? So then he just takes off out of the bathroom, right? He's like, fuck yeah, I'm out. Right? Bones out, I'm good. <laughs> I saw his dick, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I only got tested, I want to say, like two or three more times, and he came with her every time. And every time he came, ah, right, you're good, go ahead. <laughs> You got to piss in that cup. I'll be right here. <laughs> he was like a helper. He didn't actually work for USADA or what? No, he worked for USADA. But That's the fine. thing was, is I had a female that got, yeah. that had my area. And so a female is not allowed to watch me piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Male, so why didn't they just have him do it? Or Yeah, so he was. Well, because he wasn't like a full-blown USADA agent or something. I'm okay, not sure. That's, a, that's what I was thinking. He's yeah, I don't training. know. Yeah, or I'm thinking, must, like, he, she just brought like a buddy or something like, hey, can I borrow you? I, I, I'm not allowed to look at this dude's dick, but you I need you to do it. Like, if I don't know. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure how it works, but like she had that buddy. This dude didn't work for you, Sada. She hired him off of Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I just need you to fucking so, look at his dick. Right, like, sure fucking Uncle Rico. Out, like. Your fucking Uncle Rico, dude, making <laughs> porn movies and <laughs> she shit. She got her uncle. Dude, that he's got an OnlyFans. He's trying to Josh Fabia all the fighters that he sees piss and shit, dude. Oh my god. Oh man. Shit, I'm getting Josh Fabia by everybody. Just getting Diego Sanchez. Oh yeah, that's guys. the Diego Sanchez coach guy, right? Yeah, dude. That guy was posted naked photos of Diego doing weird shit in the oh, park. Which, god. which, first of all, I don't feel bad for Diego because he was doing that shit knowingly. <laughs> But yeah, dude. but like, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> oh God, Josh Fabian. Oh, really? yeah, that guy. That guy is strange. Bro, he's he's in someone else's corner now. No. Yes, bro. I saw him in someone else's corner. I was like, I saw his glasses. I was like, please don't. You're Josh lying, Fabia. bro. No, I swear he was in someone else's corner. Uh, who was it? It was like someone who I was like, no way, too. Uh, it was someone who I would think like has more common sense to, to have that guy in their fucking corner. And I don't fucking hate it. I don't remember who it was, bro. But I swear I saw him like pretty no, real. I want to say like I a month or two it ago. It was like a month or two ago that I saw him. Dude. Maybe even a little like, longer. I would but... pull him in my corner as a joke. Like, bro, who was the guy? Remember the fucking go, the Detroit? 
the Detroit <laughs> Urban Survival guy, the guy who teach you how to like move away from a gun or whatever the dude with the vest on. You know what I'm talking oh about? Oh my god! I don't even want Somebody had guys him too. in his corner. Who was that? Somebody had oh, that guy in his corner. Wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? Um, was it Strickland? Was it? No, I don't know. Who was it? Oh God! I not. I really. I literally need to know. Jamie, pull it up. Oh um, no, no. Don't tell me it was like in Ghana. It was someone from Vegas because that dude's in Vegas, I think. It was. Uh... Was it Usman? Uh, was... Oh God, I can't. That's someone Usman would come out with him too. Oh, Buckley. Uh... That was Buckley. Yeah, Joaquin Buckley is that his name? Oh, was that the guy that did like that fucking jumping back kick to that dude? Knock that dude out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joaquin Buckley. Dude, that shit was dope as fuck. He did that. It, some stuff you're like hoping you pull off, right? You like, you like, I can oh, hit a heavy bag with person. that, but there's no way I'm hitting a fucking trained fighter with it, right? This. Oh yeah. Uh, that's yeah. That's like that's what that's like a, uh, that's what I call a white belt move. That's what you do with the white belts. Yeah. <laughs> Sue's not ready for this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's the white belt move right there. Oh. So who's like the coolest guy you've ever trained with? Like, oh shit. Like, you know, there's people you train with regularly, but sometimes you train with somebody that's just in town for a little bit or you know, sometimes you're off on a fight and then you just get a little bit of training in with somebody. Is there something that really stuck out to you? Man, honestly, everyone that I've ever like got the opportunity to train with or interact with in UFC fighter wise has been like really cool. There's only some dudes who I don't really like. And uh well, let's talk about Benson them. Henderson. Benson Henderson, fuck that fucking shit bag. Yeah. Like, yeah, nice. yeah. Clay Guida is cool, but I never liked him before. Like I didn't like him before. He had like an attitude towards me. I, I tried to like I try to say what's up to him and like be friends with him on a fire summit. And he was like had an attitude towards me, so I was like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. Right? But like, he's cool now. Like he's cool to me now when I see him, so you know, it's gonna change yeah. things. Bad That's day. like exact. But uh, like those two, and then we see. Wait, what's up with Benson Henderson? Bro, I don't like. How much time you got, dude? Like this guy is so fucking annoying, bro. Like I hate his fucking hair. I hate, I hate like his face. I hate the way he talks. I hate how he puts toothpick in his fucking mouth. I hate the, the way he walks. I hate the way he fights. Wild. Bro, I I just I hate the way he breathes. Jeez. Bro, I just don't like. I just don't like him, dude. If he was like key on a piano i'd smash that key off <laughs> i'd play that piano without that key oh jesus i just i don't know he's just you You know you've never like ran into somebody and just for some you just have this like super strong feeling just punch them and punch them and punch them until there's just nothing left to punch yeah there's some people you just don't vibe with no matter what you try to do it's just the frequency yeah. is off it's not gonna work out yeah, he's super cringy. I'm also not fond of Tyson Griffin. And that's just because I had too much time around that guy. He's just annoying as fuck, bro. He's like such a little OC yeah. housewife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Bro. geez. laughs> we did like this USO tour for the military, which is like we basically travel. We were traveling around all, all over the Middle East. Yeah. And like kind of being entertainment for the troops, right? Give them a little break from the rigorous like day to day life of the war and shit. And so uh, Tyson Griffin was there, and he was like, man, just annoying, right? Like, you guys should do this, you should do that. He's one of those, like, fad people, right? Like, the next fad is the best thing. And he's, like, so pushy on people about, like, you should fucking do this. You, you know, he's one of those people. Yeah. And and one night, we were in, uh, I want to say we were in Baghdad. We were coming back from, like, one of, uh, like, Saddam Hussein's palaces that we took a while back. And we were doing like some kind of like little uh, demonstration, whatever, and roll with the troops or whatnot. And we get back, and I think it's like one or two a.m., right? And uh, oh shit, this is actually a pretty cool story. So on the way back, we were flying in a Chinook, uh, and we had two Apaches as like, um, you know, cover, whatever. They're like our security. Because when we when we flew around, we didn't fly commercial at all. It wasn't safe where we were. We were strictly with military only. We were never like in the public's eye in, in yeah. any kind of situation we always had escorts and so um and if we were on the streets we had escorts that were two cars wide on all sides and the reason they said for that was because of bombs like the bombers will drive into you with a bomb car and just explode the fucking car so 
it'll you know take out the cars to get to, to us before it gets us yeah. it's essentially like the goal a little barrier yeah pretty nuts and so uh <clears throat> bro we we're out there we we're coming back we we're in the chinook i'm dozing off right i'm sitting i'm actually sitting in the back of my legs hanging off the back of the chinook it's open and i'm like strapped in and i'm like just kind of sitting there i'm like kind of dozing off just watching right just hanging out and then all of a sudden you just hear like eh, 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 and then like boom 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 like all these fucking flares start shooting off the chinook and it's like the uh you know the flares that go off when they're fucking target locked yeah. right and then and then the captain's like uh don't worry about that boys we just got target locked not a big deal we're like what and then <laughs> like yeah i'm like what and then one of the apaches like stays with us and the other one turns around lights up some area fucking on the ground some buildings and then just comes back with us and starts following us again i'm like what the f- did they just murder somebody like what the fuck just happened dude what the fuck they're like oh yeah we got target locked back there but don't worry we got apaches they're not gonna get us don't worry <laughs> yeah bro i was like you fucking you guys are nuts dude like get the fuck out of here that's so, crazy so that was okay so that was the flight back to like the base that we were at and then we're in the chow hall we're eating and uh i'm eating and, and i have like i'm hungry right because you know what i mean and it was like me matt hughes uh mike richmond jessamine duke shana basler and tyson griffin who was actually all on this tour nice. and then me and me and mike richmond and uh, we're hanging out on the end and we we're talking bullshit and whatever and then tyson comes over sits by us and he pulls out this fucking purse bro like um like I, i'd like to call it something else but it was a purse he pulls out a fucking purse and he's got like condiments in the fucking purse, dude. He's got like pink Himalayan salt, some like coarse garlic pepper fucking weird shit, dude, and like some other weird spices and shit, dude. He was like some kind of vendor and shit, bro. Like, I was like, bro, are you like, are you from out here? Like, did they pick you up out here, bro? Like, what the fuck? Like, he's got this like full blown little shop with him of just spices and shit, right? And so I, I got like a plate of like, I don't even know. It was like chicken and mashed potatoes, right? It's just like loaded. Right? I got like a mountain of food, and they give you like these little like prison packets. The military literally like they these guys are like hauled everywhere like prisoners, man. Like like I've been to jail and it sucks, but like they live like they're in fucking jail, except they're just not in jail. And the salt packets and pet packets they get are the same ones you get in jail. The ones where you have to like snap in half and then fucking dump right. They're tiny. You got to use like a thousand of them. So I got a handful of those, and I'm busting open the salts and the peppers, and I'm putting on my food, right? I'm just making this little prison mash. I got to go with the chicken and mashed potatoes. Tessa Griffin says, whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm like putting salt and pepper on my food. What the fuck are you doing? He's like, no, you got to use this salt because if you, if you use that salt, it's going to put these gases in your stomach, and then it's going to do this. And then I'm just like, oh, bro, he's going off for like a two minutes, bro, and I'm looking at him. And then I look at Mike Richmond, and Mike Richmond starts fucking laughing. And then he's like, he's like, what's so funny? And, and, then he, and then he looks at me. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up, bro. I was like, you know what? I can't take this anymore, dude. I was like, we've been together for like three weeks now, and I just can't take this anymore. Can you go sit over there, bro? I was like, I'm so sick of you fucking telling me to fucking, you should try this, you should try that. I'm about to get that pink song fucking smash it on the ground just, just to see you cry, you little bitch, bro. I'm like, get the fuck away from me. I just can't take it anymore, bro. Like, I snapped. I snapped on his ass at the fucking chow hall, dude. I couldn't fucking take it anymore, bro. And so I'm like, he's like, fuck, okay. And like walks over and he's like over by the girls, you know, eating and shit. And then I'm like, fuck it, eat my mashed potatoes. And we make eye contact. I'm like, I fucking love stomach gases. And I'm just fucking like eating, bro. Like he made me so fucking mad, bro. I was so mad. I was like tired. We ran ragged that day. That was like a third fucking demonstration of rolling and then rolling with a bunch of marines who were trying to fucking take my head off and shit they're like 230 juiced up in the military bro all they do is fucking feed them corn and lift hay bales all goddamn day bro i was like so irritated i'm like this motherfucker bro Ooh. and we just had like the most awkward relationship with the whole rest of the fucking trip but it's yeah. right out about it. that's funny as fuck bro you can't get on that iodized salt you need the pink himalayan bro it, man, like, i just I snap you- bro <laughs> you go visit the troops and bring a man purse like Dude, I don't know. yeah he had a purse he had a purse yeah, me and uh me and, Mike Richmond. For, me and my man purse <laughs> <with Pink laughs> Himalayan salt, just so you guys know <laughs> this is what you're fighting for so i can tow it around my pink himalayan all right you're fighting for, you're fighting for no stomach gases with your dinner that's what you're fighting for 
Like, bro, I was like, oh my God, miss you with your bullshit, you goddamn hippie, dude. It was so, like, insane. And I, dude, you know what, dude? From my recollection, I have never, to this day, still and before that, never been around anybody who was so, like, fad oriented and so pushy about these fads, man. Like, it was so nuts. Yeah, fuck that guy. Let me, I gotta do the new thing. Always about the new thing, bro. I know. That's crazy. I read it on a thing. There's actually a lot of fighters like that with stuff that teasing a lot. Yeah. But it's easy to get sold the latest, greatest thing, bro. You saw a commercial. Now you need to buy alkaline water because your pH bounces off. Come on, get it. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And I'm still out here drinking out of the hose and shit, getting all my lead content. <laughs> Get my Levin Robert weird. content. <laughs> bro, you want to hear another funny story? Oh my God, I probably shouldn't even say this because it's embarrassing, but whatever, I don't care. So, Englewood is known to have, out here in Colorado, is known to have like a shitty water treatment plant. I'm not sure if you were in Englewood or not, but, oh no, you were in Springs, right? You were in the Springs, springs yeah. Englewood, I think I heard bro, about the shitty water. Dude, they're like known to have shitty water, right? And I'm not in, I wasn't in Englewood at the time. I was in Arapaho. I was in the unincorporated land, which is pretty fucking sick because that like Indian land, like everything's so much cheaper, dude. <laughs> but, but uh, anyway, so I'm driving, I'm driving to the gym one morning. I got a fart. I'm like, I'm cool. Let that fart out. Nah, dude. <laughs> shit my fucking pants. Straight shit my fucking pants, right? Turned the truck around, pissed off, almost killed probably three families. Trip back home. 10 o'clock rolls around. Coach is like, where are you? I'm not fucking coming in today, coach. <laughs> He's like, where are, you, where are you at? I'm not fucking coming in today, coach. He's like, what's going on? Is, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. He's like, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm just, I'm a little embarrassed, right? I'm just not going to come in today. He's like, what? He's like, what, what? Dude, he's like, you got to tell me what's up. I was like, bro, I, I fucking shit my pants, okay? Is that what you, I shit my pants. There, I said it. I shit my fucking pants. A fucking 39 year old man who just shit my fucking pants in my car, driving to the gym. I probably got a fucking shampoo in my seats, in my GFC. <laughs> so just fucking, I'm sure that shit bled through all my fucking training gear. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck, that sucks. He's like, damn, I wonder if that has anything to do with the E. coli. I'm like, what E. coli? He's like, yeah, the water out here, there's an E. coli fucking outbreak in fucking in Englewood's water supply. I'm like, you fucking serious? He's like, yeah. He's like, where do you fill your water bottle at? I was like, yeah, just at the gyms in Englewood. He's like, oh, yeah? I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bro, fuck Englewood water treatment plant, dude. Those guys are scumbags. I'm pretty sure they just stick their dick in the water, bro, and stir it that way. Fuck those turds, bro. They literally uh, give, bro, they give that county E. coli like once every other month, dude. <laughs> like people die in that county once every other month from the water. Yeah, I'm not working out if I shit my pants. I'm not showing up at the gym. Like, just cancel the whole day. Like, I, I, <laughs> it's like a snow day. Like, you know, it, yeah, they don't happen like, often. Take the day off. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude, and then like that just shitty, awkward walk to my apartment. It's anybody out there if you accidentally shit your pants. Take the day off. Yeah, just go back home and just don't do anything. Just if someone tries to call you, don't even pick it up. Mm. Just stay home. Just do stuff that makes you happy because your life sucks right, yeah. right now. Clean yourself <laughs> up. Wrap yourself in a blanket. Just hold a warm mug and just watch watch shows or something. Do just chill. <laughs> don't do anything crazy. Oh, <laughs> boil that water though before you drink it in the tea. Like yeah, get a get yeah, a nice yeah. boil going. <laughs> nice and hot. Make sure you see all the bubbles. <laughs> get a, no, a nice one. Oh man. Yeah, so uh right. what you smoking off of lately? What's up? Oh, what's up? Where's my where's my weed bags? Bro, you know what's funny is I would think that when weed became legal you would like get it in a more appropriate manner other than this though. Oh, um, I miss that, dude. No, because I get some dumbass. What do I get? Oh, some double lemon gooch. Double lemon goochies. Okay, I can hear now. Oh, we can take a rip. I'm going to let... Oh, who wears short shorts? Look at those. Chow! <laughs> I get containers oh, like this, though, for an eighth. I don't... Uh, I, I just those are pretty cool, legs. though. Those are more airtight, though. Aren't they? Yeah, but... Bruh. In Florida, like everything is an eighth. I want to get an ounce, bro. 
eight of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah there's no, kinda... there's no big old container. Stab me. The whole okay, want to do it again? Freddy Krueger, dude. Dang. Yeah, that actually that does kind of suck. Out here, they they have the tall ones out here, bro. You could fit like. Bro, I could yeah. smash almost a half ounce in one of them. It's kind of nuts. There's some places they do have like a half ounce or an ounce container, but they they make so much money just slinging the eighths out the door that they just do it like that. Ah, uh, nice. I uh, so I got the double Lamaguchi and runs. I'm a uh, I'm a half and half kind of guy. Usually when I go get when I get weed, I'll get like sativa and indica. I'll get one or the other. I'm not like prejudiced against either or. It doesn't matter them. what you get. Yeah, yeah, I smoke like... both. When it, whatever the difference is that they tell you they're lying that there's no yeah sometimes honestly like sometimes i feel like an indica makes me feel more uppity bro like yeah it's, it's weird it's really like <laughs> it has more to do with you than the weed like how you're gonna feel you know what i mean yeah you know who else is like that too that i didn't realize and i could tell you that he smokes weed because i'm sure you guys already know but uh brandon uh I'm blanking on his last name right now. Uh, Roy Ball. That dude, like... Oh, yeah? He's, he smokes... He, like, loves Indica. He smokes Indica. He, oh, like, yeah. kind of smokes Indica. But he smokes out of a pipe, so I don't really... Well, yeah, I don't know. Those pipe smokers. They're like the blood smokers, huh? I'll keep it. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> I can't trust them. You piece of shit! I love <laughs> blunts! <laughs> the dry pipes are trash, bro. It's so yeah, hot. Right. Like, if you want a yeah. big hit, it's going to hurt. Like, if you want to take yeah, a big you're gonna, rip... You're just going to eat the weed at the end. You might as well just eat it to be starting. You're going to get Scooby Snacks, yeah. There's ways to avoid it, but it's still going to happen, even when you're oh, trying. Oh, bro, I'm you gotta do the nug I'm plug. Not, I know bro. about the nug plug. I'm not taking the metal screen out of my pipe anymore, out of my uh, sink anymore. <laughs> no. No, man. So we smoking you, on. You got a little Ziploc? I got a. What is it called? Yeah, I got two Ziplocs, but I don't put it in a Ziploc. I put it in a mason jar. So it's you can't even see my jar. Yeah, see that's what jar? I did when I was in Colorado. It's a lot of places. Illusion. I get the Ziploc and then you go put it in the ball jar. Easy. Couldn't yeah, even see it. Nice. Yeah, it's not crazy, huh? Couldn't even, what, so what dispos are you going to? Any big big names or just random spots? The one out here that I like is the Life Dispensary one. Life oh. Flower Dispensary, I think. Okay. So. It's not like a super huge one, but like the people there are super cool. Like Honestly, when I first came out here, I was going to every fucking dispensary around me. I was just like bar hopping bro because uh i wanted to find a good one and then i want to build a rapport relationship yeah and then you know I mean? we're gonna get a little business going there you go and so uh i, I found this life dispensary one i really like because the people there are cool and they always have like a variety right like i mean don't get me wrong i love my strains like i have my favorite strains like uh my favorites are like train rack og kush right like and uh gg those are like mm -hmm. my favorites but uh like they always have a variety in there. It's always like different strains, um, different growers. They don't like really stick to that kind of stuff, which I really like. Sometimes they have like, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, they do have like probably their typicals that they have in there. Like I think uh, Dirty Taxi is like their go-to strain that they always have. And their Dirty Taxi strain is actually pretty dirty. Like that shit's good. That shit's fire. It's always, yeah. That strain always comes out good. Yeah, Colorado is nice because they can buy third party and wholesale from other places and growers and stuff. In Florida, it's like, sorry, if you want to sell it at your store, you have to make it and produce it. Like the laws between yeah, states nice make it so weird. Okay. So I like that about Colorado. You could you can go in the one shop and you you can get stuff from everywhere instead of having to go everywhere. You know, you can get all the different brands, all the edible brands, yeah. and all the concentrate brands in one store because they carry a lot. Dude, the weed's actually really good out here, too. Like, because when I came from California, like, the weed in Cali is, like, real good, too. I know the weed out here is good, too, but sometimes it's just a little drier. I think it's from the altitude. Yeah, there's, like, no humidity in uh, Colorado. It's, like, negative. Yeah. <laughs> I told someone about the uh, orange peel trick, and they're like, what? I'm like, you don't know the orange peel trick? <laughs> yeah. Well, now they just sell you uh, a little packet. You just buy the two-way humidity packets. So they can't sell you orange peels. Oh, really? Yeah. They got, I don't, I don't know. I, don't I know got my orange one. peels. I got oranges in my house. I'm well, see, healthy. the orange peel has moisture in it so it can rehydrate, but the two-way humidity packs, they have like, they have a certain humidity like set. I don't know how they do it, but you're like a 58% a 62% humidity. You can hand pick what you get. 
and it'll put your jar if you put it in the right size jar it'll, it'll oh, get the humidity kind of to that so if you have too much it'll soak up some of the moisture and if you don't have enough it'll release some moisture so there's oh, so it'll control it in there that's pretty good yeah there's packs that give you like a, a specific humidity in a jar that's kind of interesting nice. but yeah like a lot of dispos are still using like what you said with the orange peel because that gives it that zest a little bit that orange smell yeah when you're you smelling you're like it. oh it's extra citrusy from the fucking orange peels we put in there like i tried yeah. to get i worked at a place and they would always put baby carrots in to rehydrate a jar like what? a little jar of bud they put one dude it does it has a lot of moisture one baby carrot just in there you don't want to do it for too long but it'll keep a whole jar like nice and uh Damn. sticky or whatever but, i never like, even thought about that yeah, any vegetable, any fruit with like a high water content, which is any vegetable and fruit, just about it really yeah, just yeah. People do apple Damn. slices. Oh, you just yeah. fruit dyes your weed and shit. That's Stuff that's gonna give off a smell will also cause your weed to have it. But this place where I use baby carrots, and I swear it like absorbed the smell. I was like, the weed doesn't. It's it's it smells like nothing now. I don't know. Yeah, that's so, what I was gonna think because carrots don't smell like anything really. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess the the moisture was adding had no scent to it or whatever. Or I don't even know. Carrot oh, weed. I, was, I don't sure. care at all. I'm smoking rug weed right now. I literally dumped my jar on the fucking floor the other day and all my big ass nugs. I had to pick them all up. So now when I'm pulling them out of the jar to smoke, I gotta like de rub Cat it. hair. Yeah, I'm like Cat fucking hair. walking in and shit. Oh, yeah. Don't oh, worry, <laughs> I'm gonna light it on fire. It's gonna be fine, but I see it. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna keep the lighter over for a few seconds just to <laughs> singe off anything that doesn't need to be smoked. Yeah, we'll, then, uh, we'll burn away the uh, of the unnecessaries. All right, I don't know if you'll be able to see the little hairs on this thing if I show the camera. Oh, Nothing to be able to see the hairs. You're not gonna be able to see the hairs. I'm too mm. white. Dang. Tasty ass motherfucker. Yeah, there's a, there's the hairs on this. I mean. It could get you higher. Oh, you want to know another funny story? So when I was younger, this is like way before I was like 16, 17, maybe. Uh, I was like super into skating and I like loved skating, right? So I was a skater. And me and my and a bunch of buddies used to skate at this one uh, school called Garden Grove because they had like a little, I don't even know why I was there. In the kindergarten area, they had like some little like amphitheater kind of thing that you could like step up and have layers. So it was like, really fun to skate for us right it was like super fun had a little gap on it right on yeah. a rail and so we would skate that well when when we and buddy skated we had this little crew and there was literally like 30 of us that would go skate like we there'd be like 30 to 50 of us at any given time skating together at, at one particular spot so we would like mob places and one time the uh the cops literally had a fucking sting at the school for us because they that was like one of our hot spots <laughs> And like we would have days where we'd go to a certain place on a certain days, so the cops were just like, "Okay, let's go there on fucking Tuesdays." Asses were just there, right? So we're there skating. Sure enough, there's all of us were skating, right? And uh, boom, the cops come out of the kindergarten classroom, bro. There was like, I don't know, maybe like 20 cops inside there. There was a lot of them. They all came out like cockroaches and just fucking spread. And we were like, "Oh shit!" I remember I was like sitting on my board smoking a cigarette at the time. I was like sitting there just fucking ripping a fucking dirt pickle and then all of a sudden the cops come out i was like oh shit like just go to run like fuck my board i run back grab my board we start running right behind the uh right behind the school was like a uh, it was like a 10 foot chain link and then on the other side was like the uh it was like a strip in between housing tracks where they would grow and sell pumpkins and christmas trees for like the seasonal shit you know what i mean so it was like that little thing and then you could run out to the main street and then you know the wash and just end up fucking wherever you want so we run right jump the fence we're fucking out of there we're running and i hide around the corner and i used to have these chad muska shoes uh the old uh es uh chad muska shoes and i don't mm -hmm. know if you guys remember them but they were the old shoes it was like the first shoe that had a pocket a hidden pocket in the tongue right and so i had a gram of weed on me at the time which was like big fucking no-no right it was so illegal at the time and so i stuffed it in my shoe and we kept going we took off and then uh that was it right we got away from the cops and then like i don't know six months down the road i was throwing those shoes away they were like fucking shredded i couldn't shoe glue them anymore duct tape them so i had to toss them when i was throwing away i was like oh shit i forgot these shoes had a fucking weed pocket in them i opened up the weed pocket and that grandma weed that i stuffed in there that grandma kush that i stuck in there grandma kush and in a time of fucking seeds and sticks 
Bro, I had a grandma Kush, a twenty-five dollar gram of OG Kush of shoe with weed orange, with the little orange hairs on it, and then, and uh, you know what I mean, bright green flower, bright orange hairs. It wasn't even that color anymore, bro. It was straight black, and it looked like black tar heroin, black tar fuzzy heroin, dude. It looked like just the most vile, disgusting thing you never wanted to fucking smoke in your life. So me and my boys were like, dude, let's smoke this and see if we still get hot. <laughs> We're like, fuck yeah. We used to have this bong. We used to have this bong, and we called it Punisher. <laughs> it was a two-foot bong, and the small, the, the biggest bubble was the bottom, and the bubbles went smaller and smaller and smaller all the way up to the top. And we called it Punisher because you couldn't hit this bong and not fucking absolutely die. It would literally give you the most dirtiest, milkiest hits. It was fucking ruining you. It probably wasn't even a safe bong to smoke weed at, honestly. Wasn't but- clean, I bet. Yeah, not at all, dude. Not at all. And we smoke it out of that thing, dude. And I just remember, like, I remember not smoking weed for like a month after that. I remember, like, not, like, I'm not smoking weed. I was so disgusted by that. And I felt so sick and had the most horrendous fucking headache that whole day. I was smoking that black tar hair oh, weed. Oh, God. <laughs> That's exactly why I don't smoke shoe weed out of dirty bungs. Bro, it wasn't in a bag Straight or anything. <laughs> Just put a bear nug in your shoe pocket all by itself. Turn it into shoe hash. Yeah, huh? Yeah, eventually, huh? You squeeze some kind of hash out of there. Some kind of concentrate. That's what, yeah. Something. That's what I do with, like, <laughs> low-quality hash. They wrap it up, and they just walk around. They wrap it up with cellophane, put it in their shoe, and they walk around on it, right? And oh, like, yeah. Mushes it and mushes it and warms it up all day, and then... You got some tacky, sticky, hashy consistency. Bro, you know what I was, you know what I, I did one time it. is uh, I probably almost started a fire, but I actually took a vice. My buddy, my buddy's a welder. I had him weld plates on a vice. This is when I, this is actually right after I learned that the way they get rosin is literally just smash the weed with heat. I had no idea that's how they got like a live rosin out of the weed. And so I was like, bro, let's do this. And I had my buddy weld two plates to a vice. And then, uh, I electrified it. One side was the positive and one side was the negative. And when the two hit, it would electrify what was in the center of it. And so that's how I fucking uh, <laughs> was like fucking lighting shit. Yeah. Come on, I need to smoke down my brain and farted on me. No, you're good. I was like, I'm just going to take a fat rip while I listen to him talk. Sometimes when I do these, we all take a rip at the same time. Then I'm like, well, we just got silence now. We're just, everybody's listening to silence. What if this is on the radio? What if this uh, is the number one podcast right here? Oh, but when I, when I electrified it on both sides, it would heat up the fucking metal. And so when it touched, it would heat up those metals when they touched. It would fucking, I mean, we got like, we waste a lot of weed, but it kind of worked. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of worked. That's all I need. <laughs> it almost sort of kind of worked. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Mine didn't work. <laughs> what is that? The salt shaker. <laughs> this is my weed container. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to look cool too. I don't know. You ever you deleting smoke, the smoke? I hope you have a smoke buddy. Yeah, get a smoke buddy code from hell. I have a, I have a smoke buddy code. Yeah, it's from hell. Yeah, get it, guys. I mean, those things are those things are cheap anyway. They're only like twenty bucks. And I think my yeah. twenty percent. I was like, <laughs> so ridiculous. The dude they Greg are. actually that owns smoke buddies. He's really cool. He's a race car driver. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude, he just uh, he just podium at uh, I don't even remember where. <coughs> he drives like a little radical. I don't know if you know what a radical is, but it's almost like a. Uh, it looks like a go kart to me, honestly. But it's like a okay. big go kart. It looks like it does. It looks like a big go kart. And see, I'll pull one up here for you so you can see. All right. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Radical. It's like a radical ten he drives. Yeah, Google radical ten like race car or something. Or car. 
Yeah, so it looks like the one like this. Oh uh, yeah, I see a mine, yeah. Yeah, so it looks like these. Yeah, like, oh, that yeah. is tiny. Yeah, so he drives like a those. super go kart. Jesus. Yeah, they're like little V6s. They're not like a super crazy big, you know, car or anything like that. But <laughs> they're really fun to drive because they're just like go karts, right? They're like giant go karts. Like yeah, like right. Fucking two hundred miles an hour. They're so <laughs> light. I'm done. But he races those. But I remember uh, the first time I met him, I was like, "Hey, man!" And I was like, "What's up?" I was like, "Bro!" I was like, "I've never even seen these smoke buddies." This is the first time I've seen one, right? And uh, I was like, dude, you literally like perfected the toilet paper roll in the dryer sheets. And he's like, what are you talking about? I was like, toilet paper roll dryer sheets. They're like homemade smoke buddy, basically. He's like, yeah, what are you talking about? He's like, I, uh, I don't smoke weed, bro. He's like, I've never smoked weed in my life. I was like, what? Bro, he's never, ever in his life smoked weed. He, he, he parties. He parties like a motherfucker. But he has never smoked weed in his life. Has no interest to in smoke weed. Isn't that crazy? That, he developed. He developed these smoke buddies. That's how. That's how you you be a businessman. You just sell yeah, shit. You up. don't even need to use it. Somebody yeah. needs to use it. Never get high for your own supply. Scarf Scarface, man. Damn. He was spitting fucking jewels at us, bro. And we were just Damn. selling them for rubies. <laughs> well, I need to sell anti weed shirts or something. How do I tap into this market? You should. You sell shirts. You should sell shirts. Say so they'll say don't smoke weed on them. I don't smoke weed. No, I don't smoke weed. They'll say don't smoke weed. Give all your weed to me. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't smoke that weed. Give it to me. Yeah, there you go. Don't smoke it. Hand hey, it those over. Smoke buddies are dope though, because uh, I've used them. I got a couple floating around somewhere. When I, got I have the a minis. vape pen, when I have a vape pen, I smoke in places where you're not allowed to. <laughs> Dope. Where's the uh, where's the most not allowed place you've smoked with your smoke, buddy? Oh, I feel like this is a trap. Are you a are you a narc? <laughs> uh, uh, I played the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you anyway. It was a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, you know, you don't have to tell I've, yourself, uh... but you could just say like, an, I mean, some people have done it on an airplane. That's what I was thinking you were gonna say, which yeah, is wild. That's... I've smoked on an airplane and in the airport. Worth a smoke, buddy. Do uh, you hear that, Delta executives? Come get me, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you can... Uh, I need that copium on that flight, dude. <laughs> you can delete some big old hits with that thing. The, uh, dude, you can. You really can. It really does, indeed. A fresh one, too, that's like... Mine's like a little used, so it's like I have to actually blow a little harder through it now. But the fresh ones, you yeah. can just, whatever's in your lungs will just go right through that thing and you will know. It's like limited use, right? Disposable. You're not going to expect it to yeah. last forever. It's better. Yeah, off, yeah. I, off I would road. say I smoke, I mean, I smoke a lot of weed. I don't smoke as much weed as you, but I smoke a lot of weed. I think you smoke more. And I smoke more weed than you? I don't know. I smoke weed, I don't though. smoke, smoke a lot. Shut the fuck up, bro. You don't smoke Bro, you're like, vape. you have an alarm probably that's like every hour on the hour. Um, I, I, most days, I don't smoke until 9 p.m. Eastern. I go the whole day without getting high. Oh, um, then, okay, then it's like every five minutes. I see. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. maybe you like it. Hey, as you, well, as you were talking to me for over right an now. hour. How many rips do you see me do? Think about it. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Now, now, I don't even believe that's actually you. Is this a pre-recorded fucking actually, thing that I see on your don't stream? Smoke. We, see, here's the thing. I do computer-generated imagery of smoke. People it. think it's real. I knew it, dude. It just looks real. I knew it. What a sham. But hear me out. If there was like, oh, bro, we need to smoke this fucking suitcase full of weed in 12 hours or the earth fucking bl explodes. I'm saving guys, the earth. Like I just want you to know your stream. You've been you guys have been watching Decepticon the whole time. It's not actually Cupans. The AI is getting good. <laughs> Bro, that AI is actually kind of scary because people can like make AIs of you doing like some fucked up shit, bro. Do you see have you ever uh, seen someone that has like an AI on their like stream? And like you could like ask it questions and it responds and like the AI is like you. It's like an AI of you on your stream. I'm and good then at it, that. Like, responds like you. Have you seen that? 
No, is there that? Who's got that? Dude, this guy, uh, fuck, what's his name? Quinn? Because Quinn got Quinn 99. Quinn 69? 69, yeah, that guy. He's, He's got, got it on his screen. Wait, I follow bro, Quinn. Yes, bro. Is it good? Like, yeah, it was, it, dude, it just fucking like him, bro. It was like scary. It was scary. Even it was like scaring him. It was just like him. The shit it was saying. Cause you could like program it and like, you know what I mean? Do stuff like that, right? And have it listen to you and basically go about your day with it, right? And it'll like learn you and basically be you. Yeah. And bro, it was like, dude, I mean, he is a fucking AI, but you know what I mean? Like it was like, it was nutty. It was nutty. That's like, like a weird thing to think stuff. about is AI content. Cause it's like, yeah, bro, I can make an AI version of myself. That's going to be even better at streaming than me. And that bitch runs 24 seven. It doesn't even need a fucking piss break or whatever. It can oh. smoke weed while talking. Like, can I play games too? No, I don't, that, that's yeah, I don't you know. You just put fake gameplay. I don't know. Like it's like play. you build up a, a following with your real personality and then you, you run it, but I, I, I couldn't imagine sitting there watching AI content for more than two minutes. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they exist already. I feel like some of the girls that like yeah. go around on TikTok and Instagram are like AI. It's out there. There's a lot of it. There's, there's the VR streamers. Like how easy it is, is it to make an AI version of that? Like they're not even showing their face. Like AI of a person. You're like, Ooh, I could tell, but AI of a VR streamer, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, yeah, there's for sure know. like AI only fans and these little fucking. Oh, for sure, dude. These little virgins are paying for it, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. It's wild. Does any. I guess it's I gotta ask thing. the chat. Does anybody watch AI content like regularly? Like. AI is like a scary thing to me. There's like the AI generated Seinfeld and SpongeBob and other things that are floating around people were talking about, but I just refuse to watch really? it. Like, it's not, On Twitch know. caregiver? Dude, someone in my chat just says there's a fucking uh, AI stream that just plays 24-7. AI yeah. generated shitty TV shows. There's a lot of those. They do different kinds of shows that they just make up episodes based off of nothing, you know? For real, like that, so I don't know. But there's like, I think there's going to be a whole wave <laughs> of people that that's all they watch. And that's like, that's weird, bro. Yeah, actually, I saw that. There's an AI of Trump and Biden debating. That was actually kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I don't They always... They always had the video game, Call of Duty lobbies. I scroll right past those. I don't know. It's yeah, weird. weird. I'm weirded out about the AI thing because I watched too many yeah. Terminator movies. Yeah, but I, like I grew me. up with Terminators, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> but skipping past it is that is that a good or a bad thing? I don't even know. If I don't watch it, am I unaware of it? I'm just trying not to feed into it. But like, it's hard. It's there's no way to stop it. Yeah, I know because it's gonna be forced upon us. There's no way. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, I just need me. Yeah, I'm running the AI stream tomorrow. Uh, Ice cream, so good. Alright, oh that's the NPC streams. Oh bro, what is that shit, dude? What is that? I've been it's... like seeing stupid shit like that lately. How do you explain it? Like it's almost like it's a disease that people catch. Like <laughs> they think they're gonna become a millionaire pretending disease. to be a robot i don't know like is that what they're doing is that actually a person or, or is that an ai too yeah that's a person pretending to be ai or pretending to be computer. i saw someone there's some black chick that makes like 200k like a week or a month or something stupid like that doing that there's a there's a lot of people that were i i don't know that doesn't seem like something that will last forever right you know unless it does and then you're making billions at that point but but like, bruh, there was a fad of it, a bunch of viral videos of like just clips of a few people doing it. And then now, like, it, especially on TikTok, there's a lot of people that do it. I saw a video of somebody I follow on Twitter, so saw somebody in real life doing an NPC stream. And he has a video of him like, this guy's fucking doing an NPC stream. And it's like, <laughs> is that what it's called? The NPC stream? Yeah. You just pretend you're like a video game NPC, like, and you just respond to the donations with like specific messages you remembered, you know? What? I don't. What the fuck is wrong with people, dude? I don't. It's like every, you know, every time somebody subscribed, you would you would say the same thing over and over again. I don't. It gets weird. Man, I used to like feel kind of embarrassed that I had to like work hard my whole life, but it could be worse. <laughs> it, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Cause like. 
Like, because you, you, you did it. Like, people saw you do it. There's no <laughs> way you're doing that forever. Like, hey, aren't people you saw guy? you do it. <laughs> aren't you the guy that used to fucking do Glizzy Overdrive on the fucking... <laughs> On the internet, bro? You'd pretend to eat a hundred hot dogs? No. Let's not be. I don't know, dude. Okay, okay Marky Mark. <laughs> and just for the memes, I did a TikTok live stream. I got some glizzies. Like, people were dropping the whatever. I don't know what any of them mean specifically. Like, it's dude, like when somebody, <laughs> when somebody gives like 500 bits, you're like, oh, I know what that means. But like on TikTok, it's like, Somebody dropped a fucking race car or like a fucking lollipop, and it's like, well, I don't know what any of that means. Oh, but what like, is that? I've never been on TikTok. I've never uh, once clicked even one of them. Probably don't get on there. I don't know. Nah, bro, it's a new fad. You got to get on there with your pink Himalayan salt. Listen, listen, Tyson, you need to fucking relax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I use it because I, I mean, all I do is fucking make content on different platforms, so it's a good way to promote it. But for most people, it's like, no, nah, it's just going to be a black hole for your time. Like, it's not. It's not anything good. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I use social media, but I'm like, honestly, I, I, I kind of hate them. It, are, yeah, like, it really is toxic. annoying. They're super toxic for, like, mental health. They are. Especially, like, with the weed stuff, bro. Like, <laughs> oh, does it make you buy more weed? Nah, they just they don't like posting weed. I'm, I see I post weed content, but no platform uh, actually likes it. <laughs> they're not cool with it. No, 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 none of these platforms are cool with what I'm doing. Like, yeah. like hey, bro, can you tone it down and all the weed? This is what people want to see, bro. Like, <laughs> this is the content. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> it's just weed. <laughs> it's probably just weed. What do you run out? You need some of my yeah. weed? Yeah, you need some? <laughs> you out? He's like the security guard on fucking Hell High and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There we go. So, uh, you playing any good multiplayer games lately? How many players are in Mountain Blade? Mountain Blade actually is multiplayer. It's a yeah. multiplayer game. You can actually, like, divide and conquer together. It's pretty tight. Or attack each other. Is that one easy to pick up? Or I gotta fucking learn 800 menus, like, nah, that zombie game. Up. It's pretty easy to pick up. It's just, like, you level up your guy's skills, right? You have attributes and skills that you level up, which is, like, when you get a level, you just click on the, the choice you want. And then the attacking and the fighting is basically like block up, down, left, right, or attack up, down, left, right with your mouse. Mm. It's simple. Oh. The dope part is you get to command armies and shit. So you get to like, uh, you know, I mean, uh, for instance, I set my bindings to like my number pad numbers, and each mm. number is like a different group of troops. And you could set like your troops all up. You could set your troops all up, so you could have like I have my troops separated where it's like infantry archers yeah you can set them up like easily like that which is how i have it done and then you command them all make them do what you fucking want go everywhere attack set up how they want form form how they want you know formation and shit. it's pretty sick but it's really not like it's not a game that you that will take you like you know you'll learn the game the first day you play it basically yeah. it's not like real deep like that it's just really fun and just, i like it because it's like i'm super into medieval shit you can hack people so it's pretty fun Hacking and slashing. It is it is yeah. pretty fun to fucking slash people down. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I wish there was spend. more. I wish you could hack off limbs. That would be even better. That, if there was like a mod for that, that would be like the only mod that I'd use because I just play vanilla. I'm not like a big mod user. I like to play games how they are. Yeah. I use mods. Wait a like second. What the fuck whoa, did whoa. you just say to me? You're not Wait, a big mod user? Mod. I mean, I use mods, but not nah, really. Nah. What was that one game that... What was that zombie... What was that zombie game? Hang on. Project oh, Zomboid. Yeah. Uh, there's, I dude, had, I had ten mods in there. How many mods on that game? Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, listen, okay. listen. I'm a new... I'm a bro different man. Said, that was... That was I then. I use a lot of mods on games. So I'm a changed time, man. I'm a changed man. I found Christ. <laughs> it had more mods than I ever thought were possible for him. <laughs> what are all these? Okay, bro? okay. Okay, aside from that, I don't really use, I don't use mods. That was like, that was actually pretty mod heavy. Aside from the one game that. where I use a thousand <laughs> I mods, that. I don't really use That was literally like the only game we played here too. And you're like, I don't really use them, bro. all these mods, fuck this. <laughs> but that I'm game was mo a thousand mods and a thousand menus, like, you like no it wasn't a th it was like two menus there was a thousand bro like and there were it was, it was like two menus and then you'd like right click some stuff God. you're dramatic you're extra get out of here bro here's here's the games that i excel at 
uh <laughs> games with three buttons like bro fall guys i can jump i can grab and i can dive bro only up i can literally only jump like that's the only thing you can do. you can walk run and jump like that's the kind of shit i excel at when you got to do i gotta look at menus bro i gotta fucking find the, the thing in my thing and put it in the other thing and yeah, maybe um, you won't like Mount Blake's. You actually have to read too. You don't like reading. Dude, I don't like that. Yeah, reading well, in video you, games should be illegal now. You like, don't, it's 2023. <laughs> Outlaw. You for real. For you real. can maybe say so press sad. start on the front, but like read me <laughs> the dialogue, bro. In, if in I read anything of, else but press start, fuck yourself. Bro, in a world where anything ever can read to me, when I'm especially when I'm playing like an RPG game, like I gotta do because I'm gonna do the voices, bro. Like I gotta do the voices now. Like I gotta fucking define the characters. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Don't you play WoW? Don't you fucking talk to me about I don't play menu this, menu that. Because when I see people play WoW, there's like literally a thousand fucking little buttons and commands and no, attacks no, and powers no, and whatnot no, no, at the bottom of the screen. No, so you no, go ahead and just miss no, me with that no, bullshit, no, buddy. No, you go ahead and just la 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 World Don't of Warcraft talk with a too. Dance Dance Revolution pad. It has four buttons on it, bro. I'm telling you, I'm a four <laughs> button that. champion. If the game has four bro, buttons, you have I your can hands play and it, feet on your keyboard when you play WoW, bro. You I have can. your hands and toes on the keyboard when you play WoW. I don't no, even know what uses the mouse. It was hands free. I don't even know, I mean, I don't even know what uses the mouse. I mean, you probably use your boner to move the mouse. Around. Feet I don't think only. you use the mouse in that game. No, no mouse, no. bro. I was. Oh, he's a RuneScaper too. Are you a RuneScaper too? No, are you getting I, switched out right now? That dude? game is a menu. I've never RuneScaped. I've never played Minecraft or RuneScape. I gotta try them both on stream one day. I played Minecraft. I've never played RuneScape. I played Minecraft. You played the Minecraft? Yeah, I hated it. I had a server actually for a little bit. You got it. How many mods were on it? Let me guess. No, nah, no, nah, it was actually no. Uh, nah, I didn't know how to. I didn't even know how to play that game. I literally had it for like three days and I got rid of it because I felt like such a fucking douche having it. I was like, bro, I can't do this because I feel like I'd kick my own ass just playing Minecraft. Like, I have to just get rid of this. You should. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's like, why don't you get rid of it? The game's fun. I'm like, shh, don't even. That's, next, that's why you spend so talk, many bam. hours into Valheim. Yeah, because Valheim's Because it's literally, really fun, it's though. Minecraft, but you're a Viking. And you're like, no, I'm yeah. not playing Minecraft. You're fucking playing Minecraft, kid. Well, you know what? Val and when I played Minecraft, I didn't even know about Minecraft. So, allegedly, Minecraft's actually a pretty fucking nutty game where there's, like, so much shit to it. And I thought yeah. it was just a bunch of squares to distract kids because they know what the fuck they're doing, right? I thought Nasty. it was like a Roblox guy game, right? Like, I feel like Roblox is like an insanity breeder. Like, games like that are like insanity breeders. Not like the games that people make in Roblox, but like the actual game itself. Yeah. This is like... <laughs> Roblox, what's... Roblox has the dead drop, bro. That's like the Call of Duty game or the Counter-Strike. I don't even know. See, I know about that. See, yeah, and you play. Yeah, I'm sure you love those menus too, huh? Wow. -er. I never Listen, played man. it. I know. About Listen, stuff. man, you're just you. You're caught, bro. You're caught. Just, bro, I, mean, I, I feel like you've been. Just, I feel like I don't even know you anymore, bro. Like it's bro, been two years, but buttons. it's been two years, but I, it's like I. I just met you. Oh god, I really only play WoW when there's a new expansion. I play it for like a few weeks and then I'm done. It, it's really like a fucking addiction. I don't know what it is. It's like a see, see your tone right now is the tone of someone who is like a robot addiction that doesn't want to admit that he still has the addiction because he hides it very well. Still, you know and how like animals have, I hear. have like hibernating and what? No, migrating. Like birds fly to the south when the like weather bears? changes. Oh, so you hibernate like a bear with WoW. Birds are like, oh, bro, it's it's about to get cold up here. We got to fly to the south. You know what I mean? They don't know what they they don't know why they just fly to the south. That's what happens when a WoW expansion comes out. I don't okay, when know I, why. when a WoW expansion comes out. When when is I gotta it? play it though. When a WoW expansion comes out, how long does it take for your chick to see you again? <laughs> okay, the fact you have to think, uh, yeah, the fact you have to think that long about how it long uh. it takes, yeah. It's yeah, usually a 24 more. hour stream, so I usually, oh it's goodness. usually like, let me go live. <laughs> because when you play a brand new game that you're, you definitely want to play, I don't want to stop playing. That's the, probably the most fun to me is when the new expansion drops, trying to get to the new max level. <laughs> And then you after wanna... that, I'm like, all right, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm done with this. <laughs> Fucking him over it. 
Hmm. Sometimes I'll play a little end game, but I don't. I guess the last time on the dragon one, I did a decent amount, but it depends. I almost uh, did a 24 hour stream the first time I was playing Bandler because I was like so caught up on it. It was so fun. Yeah. 24 hour stream is rough. It is. I did it one time. Uh, I mean, what game was I playing? I was playing GTA. I was role playing on GTA. I was like super into GTA for a bit. Yeah. And I was doing well there. And uh, yeah, I felt like I was smoking crystal meth all night. And just didn't sleep when I was done. <laughs> I, I like. I'm pretty sure I took a shower and just soaked for like Ugh. a half hour. Just let every I let all my hot water burn out. Just to like burn the, the feeling away. No, that <laughs> and, makes sense. And then I went to bed for like 36 hours. It's it's hard. I've done multiple streams, 24 plus hours. I think the longest I've done Damn. is 34 hours, and I was smoking the whole Holy time. Shit. You know, like. Damn, nah. Yeah, that's and a like long when you, time smoking, bro. Like, yeah, you know, when you do the long ones, I I'm usually not tired at, after 24 hours. Like I'm tired at 18, 19 hours, but then after that, it's like, nope, I uh, I'm up. Wave. I got wave. the. Uh, so then when I end it, I think every time I do a 24 hour stream, I literally watch an entire like first season of a show or something. You know, like five hours of television usually comes after that before I fall asleep. Like. Many a time, I'll cut. Cr I crushed like the first and I think second season of Cobra Kai somehow it worked out. So I did a 24 hour <laughs> stream right before, and then I was like, right, I'm gonna watch that shit right after. It's, <laughs> Wait, it's you watched hard. it on the stream or no? After no, the after the stream, like as a, I'm gonna go to sleep, but I'm not actually tired yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched the whole season. Oh shit! Dude, the Cobra Kai season is pretty good too. I watched that when I was in New York. I watched that yeah. whole season when I was in, when I was in New York. You watch the whole show? Yeah. It's a good one. Well, I like there's it. only like there's only it was when it was still new that there's only like two seasons in. I think they're they're coming out oh, with the sixth one. Because Karate Kid's so dope, but like that just adds so much to it because you get so much, you know, so much time. Yeah, we were just like on YouTube watching it for like basically the whole week we were in New York. We were out there from like Tuesday to Sunday. We were watching mm. it. I got my coach. <laughs> I got my coach. I hooked on uh, PUBG for his phone. There you go. PUBG on the phone. I know she was funny. This, I don't do mobile games. There's, there's too many. Bro, no. I hated New York. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you there? Just for that week. I fought out there. It was just like, uh, we were in, we were in actually New York. We were in like uh, Utica. It was New York, but it was Utica. Yeah, I will say. And it was just like, man, it seemed like a town that got abandoned, but some people just didn't want to leave. <laughs> no, this place is closed. You got to get out, it was, <laughs> bro. It, it was like it, it literally was like like I was like walking like we walked around a bunch out there. And I was like, damn man, like I, I'm not comfortable out here without my strap on me. Like this place is sketchy as fuck. There's no mm -hmm. street lights. There's like abandoned buildings everywhere. There's like sketchy characters everywhere everyone's wearing dark clothing at night you're like you're... that sounds good <laughs> oh bro it was like so sketchy there's so the abandoned buildings were sketchiest and there was like we went to this pizza parlor that was actually in an abandoned building the pizza's pretty fucking good actually and they had like a foosball table in there and shit <clears throat> oh i see that's get high i like first person shooters yeah Combat I used to really like Tekken, dude. I got super addicted to Tekken. I was sneaking a weed in. Tekken. You play Rocket League? We gotta get you on Fall Guys, though. That one's free. That's what I was playing yesterday. That fucking silly little colorful game. We're all blooping around. That's free on the Epic Store. I don't have it on. 